Hello again, people. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again. Uh, this is Steve here, aka The Running Englishman, who's simply here to inspire you to be the best and fittest version of yourself, because if I can do it, then so can you. So, the whole purpose of what I've been doing recently is to give an honest assessment of a very simple running method that I and thousands of people have partaken in over years, and it's called the Maffetone method. Now, it feels like it's turning out to be an absolute brilliant method to get yourself into shape, whether you just want to be a, a runner or just someone who does a bit of casual exercise or to someone who wants to do racing from now on or complete in a marathon. So if that's something that you feel like you'd like to give a try on get into, please consider hitting the subscribe button at the bottom there and following my whole story. As I say, I'll be showing you the ups and downs of it and doing it in real time of how my how my running is, is going with this. So it's, it's worth following to see if it can work for you. So my long term aim in all of this is to hopefully one day complete a full marathon. Um, I'm 37, so I'm not, I'm not the best age. I wish I'd have started it a long time ago, but I've done three half marathons now and honestly the thought of turning around to do the whole thing again once I got to the finishing line is, is physically impossible for me to do but with this new training that I'm doing I feel like there's some light at the end of the tunnel now and maybe there's something I'll be able to do one day so um, I'd love it if you joined in and sort of give it a go yourself and maybe you know we go through it together and maybe do something that was that you thought was not possible we'll, we'll make it possible so hey why not give it a try. And then with a little bit of luck, we can all just become better runners together. So I've had to wait a whole week to make this video. This is actually part two um, about some mistakes I've made in the last sort of three weeks or so. If you haven't seen part one, it's probably not a bad idea to go back and watch that one to see entirely what I'm talking about, but I'll just quickly run through it. Um, I noticed my times after doing some real nice steady progress, getting my average pace down, it started to waft back up. Um, I was refusing to think that it was the end of my my sort of phase one of the Maffetone training. So I tried to look at and dissect it to see what I've been doing wrong and what I've changed. Um, I've worked out the reason was likely that I was, I'd was i done a bit too much running. Um, I added sort of 10 minutes on too early and I was doing probably over training slightly. And also I, was, I upped my strength training at home too. Um, I think I was doing a bit too much on that and I think in overall I was sort of slightly overtraining and I realised that my resting heart rate has gone up like sort of permanently as well which uh, by about five or six which is usually a sign that you're sort of overdoing it slightly. So I think I've fixed these problems. I'll put a little picture on um, in a few minutes just to show my recent times that I've been doing uh, but I'll quickly tell you what I did to fix it. It's, it's very simple. Um, I took away some time that I was doing. I was always running for an hour and 25 minutes and I wasn't doing enough of a warm up, which I went against my own advice for. So um, what I've done, I've gone where now I run for an hour and 10 minutes with a proper 15 minute warm up where I gradually get my heart rate up and then I'll start my math and I'll run for an hour and 10 minutes instead of the hour and 25. Um, I also cut back on the weights as well, which I do on the same day. I've, I've cut the reps down to um, you know, to still build muscle or keep the muscle that you have, but um, without overstressing your body. So I'll just put a picture up in the corner of my, my recent times. Um, as I said, it started to waft up. So I think one of them was about 9.55. That's when I started to realise that it, was, it wasn't it was going how I was expecting. Uh, so I did those things I just said by cutting everything back. And then my times have gone down to um, 9.22 and then 9.19. And then the last one was 9.03. So instantly my times have sorted themselves back out and they're going back towards the nine minute mile, which I know isn't isn't really fast, but that's, that's progress from where I began. I'm hoping that one day it's going to get into the eights and hopefully waft down to the sevens, but you know, I'm being optimistic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep doing the math train as it is without no intensive running and stuff like that. I'm going to keep doing it until that sort of levels out and then it, so it won't go any lower than that. So when, when I get there, then I'll obviously go to phase two where you start to do faster running and things like that. But for now, um, now I'm back on track, which I'm really happy about. Um, I'm just going to keep doing the math training um, each time I run. So I think the moral of the story here is to just monitor everything you're doing whilst you're doing the process. 
Um, if you're sort of nicely trickling down with your um, average mile pace is still going down, then you're doing everything correct, it seems. Um, if, like me, it starts to stay still or go upwards and you feel like it's probably a bit early for that to be happening, just have a look at what you're doing. See if you've changed your eating habits or your sleep or your stress and just, just tinker with it slightly to get everything back in line and just wait for your times to start to drop again. And so um, at the end of this month, I'm not sure of a date yet, and I'd, I'd love it if everyone wanted to come along with me and do this, but I'm just going to put myself on for a, a time trial of a half marathon. There was a, a Strava challenge on there. Uh, so if you want to follow me on Strava, there's a link below. Um, if you want to click on that and just see my progress on that, I'll do a video separate to show you what my, my best time is so far from my previous half marathons. And I'm going to obviously go above the math for the first time and just do a half marathon and just see if there's been any progress over sort of three months. So if anyone fancies joining on to that, um, you know, leave a comment below, whatever, and I'll pick a nice Sunday and we'll, before the weather gets too rubbish here, and um, we'll go out and do a half marathon and just see, see, you know, see how we get one on. It'd be, it'd be great to see if there's been progress over that time. And I'm, I've been really excited about doing some time trials, some 5Ks and 10Ks, and now is the time where I feel like sort of at the end of this month that I can start doing a few of those. So um, yeah, if you want to get involved with me, you know, link link up to it and we'll, we'll go out together. So that's about it for me today. Um, it's a nice short and sweet one, um, just to give an update on the mistakes I've made and how I'll fix them. Um, hopefully I won't have to do, do, do too many of these videos where I've made mistakes, but I'm pretty glad this happened because this is what it's all about. It's all a learning curve for me and for, for you hopefully as well if you were just starting. So, you know, find out what's going wrong, put it right and get back on it. So if you like what you've seen so far on this channel, please consider hitting the red button to subscribe. Um, we've got loads of good stuff coming up soon. Um, we've got to do the time trials and all these things. I'd like you all to get involved with that as well. I'd also like to hear from anyone that's got any um, stories of their math, whether they're doing it now, whether they've done it in the past, or whether it worked or didn't work. I'd love to do in the future to do some case studies, just like little mini stories of people that have done it, just to give people some insight to how the whole process works and how far they've come with it. So please feel free to email me or um, just leave a message on the bottom and I'll get in contact with you. I'd love to hear your story on it and I'll feature it in some of my videos. So I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. It's steve -O.